All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. Uh, in this video today, I'm gonna be doing another look finally with this palette right here. And this was more so along the lines of like what I was looking to create yesterday. Uh, yesterday, Aria was going to church, so yeah, that was not happening. I couldn't be showing up in church looking like this. So I was trying to do something that was reasonable and not too off the wall. But I have to say, I love the way this turned out. And just the whole placement of like just studying where she placed the colors on the model. like. I really, really love it. And it's just ma really making me think how much more I really need to step outside of the box um, and study other people's work and try recreating. And I think I'm gonna do that more on my channel. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Just even like studying the way she did the brows on the model, I really, really loved it. Anyway, that's enough chit chat for me. Let's just go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> hey, I thought, why not? <laughs> I pray this looks good. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Let's do this. So this is like my second time recording this tutorial. And um, and of course I've been doing like test runs and stuff like that just to kind of figure out what's going on. And I realized my camera really likes lights. <laughs> uh, just like any other camera. All right. So I'm going to start with moisturize my face because I've like stripped my whole face off. Yeah, let's just, let's just roll with this. I'm gonna be recreating this look I saw on the Alamere uh, Cosmetics website. It was so, so pretty. Um, I need to go get my phone so I can actually show you guys what that looks like. And I'm like, so, you ever been in this place where you like, you've been doing so much, you've been moving around, moving this, moving that, moving this, and you finally sitting down to do whatever it is you're gonna do, you really just don't wanna get up. And that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> So what I remember about the brows is the brows was very unique. They were very like going out this way versus coming down like they normally would to like meet the corner. It was more so going out. And it was kind of, um, her brows were thick. They, they were thick and then naturally rounded out. So it wasn't like a hard, hard arch or anything like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this palette here from Honest Beauty. I'm just going to be using the highlight, the highlight shade only only because the other colors, they are pretty much on, they're a little bit too much on the cool side for my liking. We're gonna be moving on to the BH Cosmetics Pro Studio stuff. I'm gonna be using this color here to set uh, my brows. Battery went dead. You know what? It's funny when you're doing something and you're, you're working to do something better with yourself or you're really making a conscious effort. And it's funny how I feel like things happen to like test you to like see, hey, are you gonna give up? Are you gonna get frustrated and just wanna just sit there and just have a pity party? You know, like, it's just interesting to me how things can happen to just tempt you to want to give up, to wanna be like, see, nothing ever works out for me. See, this is how stuff always ends up. And the one thing I have learned from my life, my, my, my life may not be the most perfect life, but the one thing I have learned is I, I, I don't have the, I don't have the luxury of giving up. I don't have the luxury of accepting things. <laughs> I mean, you can accept them for, for what they are, but I don't have the luxury to stay in that place. Um, yeah. And I guess that's just something that we all kind of just have to ask ourselves. Do you have the luxury of affording to sit where you are. I'm using this lighter color in this BH Cosmetic palette to kind of just lighten up uh, the front of it. So just something to just think about. Um, you know, if you watch my channel, you know I, I, I like I like to share and I like to make people think because it's so easy to want to quit, man, when things are just, you're getting to that point where it's like your breaking point and it's like, when is enough enough, you know? I'm going to be mixing these two colors here. Uh, these are from Zayo Cosmetics. This is in 728 and 736. This is their sample cream foundation. I just, I really like using it to use as an eyeshadow base. And with her brows, I noticed they were just more round. It's, it wasn't like a go up and then come down. It was just more rounded, but definitely still going out. Kind of had a very um, edgy, edgy feel. All right, I think we kind of look like not really. 
but you know, we're, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna rock with it. These are looking nothing alike. How did this happen? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this color here. This is from, ooh, you know what? My nails look so janky. I'm just gonna put this claws on there real quick. I've been eating chips, so if you see my fingernails and they look like I got stuff in it, it's because I've been eating some really delicious chips and let's keep it rolling. <laughs> y'all tell I'm just, I'm just like, look, it's a wrap. I just wanna do this tutorial. Cause it did turn out pretty dope and I really did like it. And I probably do need to try to go somewhere. All right, so I'm gonna be going with this color here. This is Cecilia from Shea Moisture. And I'm gonna be using this Do Care brush. And I really, really like this color here. I mean, you can use anything you want. You can use a setting powder, you can use a light color. If use whatever works for you. So it's easier to get the colors to blend into. All right, and I just have to say that this palette is extremely it's not just beautiful, it, it works. And it works very, very well. Actually, I think this works even better than the ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, we're gonna be going in with Coco Taxi. I really like this color, I really do. Like, this is like the perfect, like, if you just maybe wanna just contour your eyes a little bit if you're my complexion. And this is an all over pretty color for the lid as well. Like, if you're light or if you are deep skin tone. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to pull out the Japanese A35 brush and we're gonna move on to Tr Tropico. And it's a nice deep red burnt orange color. And what I noticed was with this look, it was more of a cat eye shape. So most of the color was like right in this area. It wasn't all fading up like you would normally see and all blown out. And I'm really trying to get it above my crease. Cause my, you see my crease right there. I don't want the color to just stop. So I'm trying to raise it above that just a little bit. So you just gotta understand your eye structure and make that work for you. Otherwise, a lot of the a lot of the color would be hidden. Let me say that. I really love this brush. It really is great at blowing out whatever the color is you're really trying to to fade, and it makes it so. Um, Makes it so effortless and I really, really like that a whole lot. And this one, I'm just gonna keep it in this outer part. Matter of fact, let's switch the brush. We're gonna switch to this firmer brush in um, 201. And I really like the shape of it. It's, it's not too wide, but if you turn it to the side, you see how it looks. Um, what I really like about this brush is the fact that it can really like fit underneath here. So you can really like blur out whatever it is and make it look smoky on the bottom. And it's great for also fitting things into this area right here. So put this color, and I'm gonna bring this, this, I'm gonna use it to shape the outer corner and bring it in some. Cause that color, blue goldish color, we're gonna be using that to kind of like overlap it. But we don't wanna bring this dark color anywhere out into this other area. But I am gonna be using the bottom of one. All right, go back in and there's no extra color on. I just wanna blend. All right, I'm gonna be moving on to the BH Cosmetics V6 brush. And that's this one right here. I love, love, love the shape. This thing is like great for like patting the color on or if you have to get in the crease or even if you have to get it underneath here. I love brushes that have multi-purposes because I don't like picking up a whole bunch of brushes just to do a look. And we're gonna be moving on to Celia. Um, it's just, it's a very tropical color. Yeah, we're gonna call this the Tropical. Tropical. Welcome to Ocean Tropical. All right, and then what I noticed too uh, is in this look, the color did go a little bit, the blue color did go a little bit extended up, which gave that illusion that the eyelids were actually bigger than how they actually were. So that's another reason why I like this brush because it's rounded and it makes it a lot easier to get in places like your crease and your eye area, you know, the crease area right here to really apply whatever color. Now, what I did notice um, on the packaging, um, on the back, and I actually learned this after watching one video, I can't even really call it a tutorial. It was more like swatches and a review versus an actual tutorial on the look. Um, uh, and that was by Sylvette Escobar. On the back of the box and on the front, right here next to the names, you'll notice raindrops or sun. And the raindrops mean that 
these eyeshadows are meant to be used wet and with the sun it means it means it's meant to be used dry and you see the raindrops to the right of the names and then of course on the mat you'll notice that you have a little sun light to use them dry and then of course what i did notice is the blue had like this v looks this V look, or you can say this dark part, uh, Juan Tadamera has like a C shape. So just keep that in mind. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to Juan Tadamera and really finish creating that C shape and then trying to like, kind of, you know, blend it, mesh it together. See, I'm just using all kind of brushes today, huh? I'm gonna use this brush and I have no idea who is a pencil brush. I'm gonna use Coco Taxi and just use that to blend the edges. Matter of fact, it doesn't even look like the, anything dark leaves this section here. Um, and I'm gonna have to clean this up and make this do a cat eye situation when we're done. I'm going to finish bringing this color in and then I'm going to switch brushes and I'm gonna use Cafe, Cafecito. And I'm gonna switch over to this brush and I'm gonna use that to like define my outer, my outer lash line. And I really, really like doing this, not just with this palette, just in general. Um, I've been doing it as of late and I've really been enjoying the fact of using a dark brown color just to like define, define my lower lash line. All right, now to the fun part. Let's clean this brush off. Um, I'm gonna be using El Malikan. I hope I'm saying it right. And that is this beautiful glittery sh um, shade, metallic shade right here. High Shine Metallic, that's what it's called. Now I know they say to use this wet, but the thing that I love about this color is you put it on, you think it's gonna be glittery, but the more you, um, the more you rub it with the brush, the more you apply it with the brush, the more it blends into each other and it like it melts together and it really does look very cool. And then the one thing I did notice about how she applied it, she didn't just put it like right here. She actually brought it up to really open the eyes up. So it gave it like this really, really exotic feel and I really, really like that a whole lot. It's so, so pretty. Like I just love how everything, Oh, and I forgot to apply this blue color wet. So um, this is my glycerin slash jojoba oil spray. And it was just something that I made just equal parts in case you're wondering and you want to go make it yourself. Uh, Cause I was reading up on glycerin cause I've been doing the glycerin spray by itself and I started spraying the glycerin spray in my hair. And then I was wondering why my hair was drying out and we're reading it, even though glycerin is a moisturizer, also it has the tendency to suck the moisture out of whatever it is you spray it on. So you need to actually have it mixed in with another moisturizer. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. Um, we're not sitting over here drying our eyelids out or our hair or whatever you use it on. And this will look really nice with a liner too. Um, I don't believe I, yeah, I don't think I saw a liner on this look. Nope, but she does have lashes on. It's so beautiful. All right, so let me just go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, and then I'm gonna be using Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Organic Lip Balm. I should've did this first, but hey, it is what it is. All right, and I'm gonna be using this Lash Paradise. This is not, this is the non-waterproof formula, but I think I'm going to be going back and getting the waterproof formula and maybe have both, which is one would be, this initial one would be to actually place all my lashes, and then the other one will go over this formula so it'll be easier to wipe it off um because i really like the way this makes my lashes look but this for i don't know this formula just it's not like the waterproof one i cannot explain it but it's it's just not i mean it still works don't get me wrong but i don't know it just looks different i, I don't think it's all in my mind <laughs> if you use this mascara and you use both the waterproof um or you know the non-waterproof definitely let me know like have you experienced what i'm talking about like it just looks different i just hate how hard it is to like come off your lashes like i need you to come off and not be stuck there so next time i'm trying to apply you curl my lashes everything is just sticking to the curler and not going on properly because my lashes are stuck together like i just don't need that with this look that i really like this brush for the lower lash line like 
it's the first time like i guess since i've been using this other one where it just gets all with the lower lash line it's just really annoying which is from kiss new york professional uh, this is their luxury intense eyeliner and it's in beige beige basically it's like a ro pinky rose gold color um you can use whatever brand you want because i don't know how easy it's gonna be to find this i got this from the beauty store it just adds a little some some this is not a whole lot what color is this this is from wet and wild and this is simmer brown all right so i'm gonna try putting on this mascara here this is the voluminous superstar x fiber waterproof hydro fugue and i'm gonna use the number two side right here and of course this has fibers on it i don't know i think i might i don't know it looks weird in the monitor i don't know i just i feel like this yeah. let's move on i'm really really feeling this foundation right here uh this is from the is this from it's cosmetics is the your skin but better cc plus maybe i need to make like my own cc cream because i really 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 like this a whole lot all right so i'm gonna be creating my cat eye right now if we are going outside i'm just gonna seal and then powder up and i'm using this brush from real techniques um, if you can find these at TJ Maxx, I'll highly recommend that. I have been still been seeing the same shape. Um, it's a really dope brush. It just makes, like when you have this right here, when you are cleaning up your foundation and you're using concealer, you keep that, it allows it to look like it blends into your eyeshadow. And I really, really love that a whole lot. I hate when you can see like the edge and it just looks hard. I like it to look natural. Ooh, that looks nice. All right. I'm gonna use this with the Cecilia color that I used on my eye, the first color I used on my eye earlier. Be so nice if this they could make this into like a pressed powder. I'm gonna use this color here. I believe this is Trope Almond or Almond from Shea Moisture. I'm probably thinking Trope on Almond because of the liquid foundation that I used to have that my son. Wasted everywhere. <laughs> yeah, kids can't even get upset with them because you'd be wasting your energy, especially when they don't know better. You know, it's quite hot out there, so for me, powder would be best. So if it starts coming off, it will still look pretty natural, um, and hopefully, it might absorb any kind of oil type situation. But I'm not putting enough to really even do that, so. I'd rather do this than do liquid and be leaking everywhere and getting this crap all over the place. Like, it's just that, that would, no. And I'm about to go outside, go outside, like, no. And then I'm gonna be using this color here from Black Radiance, that's the bronze. And I'm using this Do Care brush from Amazon. It's the same company that makes the other fluffy brush that I really, really like. I just I like how natural it just, it makes everything look so effortless. All right, and then I'm gonna switch back over to this brush, the other Do Care brush, and I'm going to use that same bronzer color to kind of tie in my eyeshadow to my nose. And I'm just gonna bronze the nose because if you think about it, you get sun action. Whenever the sun hits your nose, it's usually the top part here that gets tan. And then I'm gonna put some blush on, lip color, and then it's a wrap. And this is from BH Cosmetics Professional Blush. And I'm gonna be using this peachy tone right here. I love this color a whole lot on my complexion. See, this is why I like to put on the lip balm when I start, because by the time I've gotten to do my lips, it's actually done what it's supposed to and not get rubbed off. So, hey, but it is what it is. One of the things I did notice on her lip color is it did look like she had like a matte lipstick. I think it looked more like a nudie brown, like a pinky brown. I don't know if this is gonna cover it, but we'll try it out. Um, I'm gonna use this color from Buxom. It's called Nude Exposure. And it's probably too pinky, um, but I have this other color that I think I can use to neutralize it with. But I mean, it, it could still work if you blend it really well into the lip gloss since I did use, I mean, not lip gloss, the lip pencil, since I did use a brown, lip pencil this one here is naked nude and then this one here is bitten pink right yeah so it definitely has more of a pinky brownie undertone you can definitely see that when this one is more of a neutral brown it, it looks more warm as well and this is also from elf this is in mocha twist yeah this will definitely tone down that pink tone but i mean i think it'll work 
because uh, her lips look pretty light. But this is if you want to neutralize it down a little bit. Her lips definitely look matte. Um, but same thing because it has kind of that like that color scheme feel going on in there. I'm feeling that. All right. Okay. I think I think the lashes are bearable. I think I'm just bugging. I think I'm gonna do this more often, finding pictures to like really study and like recreate the looks because otherwise you kind of get stuck in, you know, doing the whatever look that pops into your head versus actually stepping outside of the box and trying something different. Like this right here is edgy, but it's everyday wearable and exotic looking, which is the whole reason why I picked up this palette to begin with. So I do have to say I'm really, really feeling that. Oh, and then it goes with my shirt. If you have this palette or you're contemplating getting it, I would love to hear from you down below. What would make you get this? Like, is it the price, the color, or is it what people are saying about it as far as the formula goes? I only watched one video. I didn't watch a whole bunch of other ones. And then that one didn't even have a makeup tutorial in it. It just happens to be um, somebody that I actually enjoy watching. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you then. <laughs> Bye.